What's up, ladies and gents? Excalibur is here, bringing you. <gasps> no, it can't be from the desk of Excal. Yo, yo, yo! What is up? Uh, I bet you didn't see this shit coming. <laughs> so anyway, today's topic. Uh, well, at this point in time, I have put a considerable amount of time into Ye Old Black Ops 3, so maybe it is a uh, nigh time to go ahead and start giving my thoughts on the Black Ops 3, now that the, what do they call that, the honeymoon phase is over, you know, it's like, oh, the first month, it's great, and then you keep playing it, and then you realize you hate it, and then you liked the previous Call of Duty more, you know, do people still do that? Well, I still like Black Ops 3. 463 hours later, I have fun with it. I stream it, uh, what do we, like, at least, at least once a week, unless... Unless there's 24-7 Nuketown, then uh, we get all over that shit because Nuketown is amazing. Well, at least in uh, in comparison to the to the other maps in this game. But anyway, I do find this game fun. I like it. I enjoy it. Um, what am I? I'm what six over 600 Master Prestige now. I have I think 150 nuclears and 1,000 Unstoppable. So I I think I've got a a pretty good handle. And what's the Black Ops 3 is all about. But uh, first things first here, melee only. Uh, I, at first I was hesitant to do the melee only stuff because uh, with the way this game has its matchmaking set up, and uh, more often than not I am the uh, player with the highest score per minute in the lobby. And <laughs> that means I get, I get the worst of the worst on my team. And so I think, well, how the fuck can you carry, you know, five people with melee only, and sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you uh, <laughs> you obviously don't. But uh, it, it's pretty fun, especially. Well, actually, hold on, let me uh, restart that. Uh, it's fun if you have the pay-to-win melee weapons from the crates. So good luck on RNGs is there because the knife is hot dog shit, and if you got the butterfly knife, that thing is also hot dog shit because. It's practically the same goddamn thing as the regular combat knife, Security. except that it does have Counter Strike Go flippy strats, which you know flippy strats are are pretty cool, but you know it's it, it doesn't make it any any better of a weapon. I mean, it looks cool with dark matter, and you you flip it around, you know, mash the reload button all day every day, but uh, yeah, it's it's still junk. But the the brass knucks, the wrench are all I find a lot better than the. Uh, than the regular default knife and the sword. Uh, I haven't really messed around with it too much because I don't fucking have it. Though from what I have been able to do when I pick it up from somebody, it's uh, it seems it seems a lot better than the knife. So Fury Song is good. I haven't messed with the big gym yet, and apparently there's a baseball bat now or, or some shit that would have been you know nice a, a couple days ago when I was mass opening packs and you know netted myself you know, seven marshals. Which by the way. Those marshals are OP as shit. <laughs> there are better primary than the KRM, and they're fucking secondaries. And you can dual wield them. It's like this game's version of the Olympia. So uh, there have been some good. There's been some good times with the with the marshals, and uh, they they piss people off. They do, and that is always a bonus. And the of course can't forget NX Shadow Claw with bayonet. That thing is a monster. And, in melee range, uh, but you know what? I wouldn't use any of these things in like a try-hard scenario. You know, the the <laughs> melee only and crossbows and all that nonsense. They're really only good for picking on people who aren't as good as you. So uh, you know, try it uh, your <laughs> your own risk here. But uh, melee only. Sometimes you can get lucky. Sometimes uh, you don't. Got to put on try-hard pants. Uh, Skill-based matchmaking. People like to you know throw that word around. No, skill-based matchmaking is not a thing in this game. It is the skill-based team balancing, which is probably what you're seeing, which is what I was talking about earlier with, you know, the best player in the lobby gets the worst players in the lobby to counteract. And I don't really understand why they do that because the top guy is going to be miserable because he's playing against, you know, a team of average people and you know, or above average people even. And those people will take advantage of your bad teammates. You can't carry the bad teammates. The above average players on the other team are farming kills, and it's just a giant shit show. It's ugh. ugh. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, but I guess that's what makes it so entertaining to watch. Or something. I don't know. Maybe? At least I hope so. 
Bring your A game. At least I hope so. But melee only, I find with the perks, uh, ghost is always a good call. You, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe you, well, you got to use flak jacket, right? You know, it's the Excal thing to use to use flak jacket on every class. And uh, I like overclock because you know your specialist ability was, is going to help you net a lot of kills with the with the melee setup or you know use it defensively to get away either or doesn't really matter but uh flat, I mean I guess with uh, well actually I don't even know if I'm using flag checking on this class but anyway ghost you'd be surprised how often people get call or people call in UAVs and uh, you're running around melee only you don't want people to know you're flanking so gotta run the ghost and blast suppressor dead silence so you don't get sound hordes so people don't see you double jumping around on the map Pretty much the whole slew of uh, of stealth perks. I may be running overclock. It may be it may be flak jacket. I don't know. It's definitely not blind eye, but uh, flak jacket overclock can go either or. Um, for specialist ability, I do prefer the uh, fasty running. I think it's overdrive. Is it overdrive? Overdrive. I like overdrive. Helps you close the distance. And uh, if you're running at someone that's super fast, it actually. You know, in my experience, uh, a lot of people have trouble hitting people who are moving that fast. Uh, kinetic armor can be good, but I do find kinetic armor does charge a little slow for my liking. Uh, Overdrive, I think, is the fastest charging specialist in the game. Right up there with the uh, Ripper, and of course, the, the Ripper is incredible by its... <laughs> in its own right too. Tons of points for getting kills. Charges super fast and built in goddamn commando lunge that can lunge and lock on for days here. But uh, my preference for the most part is overdrive. Is, uh, it's good for defending flags too. On a domination hard point you spawn in. Run super fast. Get there. Do what needs to be done. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to try the melee, you get yourself some brass knucks. It is, uh, or Wrench, big gym, big iron. And I don't know what these things are called anymore. I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> uh, it's 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 fun, definitely fun. So, moving on, it wouldn't quite be an Excal video if I didn't criticize something, right? And uh, I gotta say, two things that bug me the most is the uh, number one controllers. I. <laughs> I guess, I guess you, you can make the argument that, you know, it, it does increase the size of the player base. And uh, Call of Duty on PC is always something that struggled with uh, population numbers. And, well, it, it does bring in a good amount of people here with the controllers. Uh, the, the level of aim assist that they get in this game is ridiculous. Absolutely asinine. And, like... When you're when you're in a gunfight or someone catches you by surprise, you know a common thing to do to try and throw off their aim and increase your survivability is to jump around, slide or whatever. Controllers have the ability to track that perfectly with very very minimal input from the person using the controller. And I mean, when I die, you can pretty much guess with pretty goddamn good accuracy. Um, maybe I'm using the controller for that. Bulls! <laughs> um, certain deaths, you know, in like certain situations, especially when you're jumping around, you die instantly still. More often than not, it's because someone was using a controller, and it's super obvious when uh, someone's using a controller. The sensitivity, the ability to track you as you're, you know, doing the, the jumping and the sliding, and oh, by the way, melee only nuclear! Got him! Styling and profiling like a motherfucker. But uh, controllers, they just. The level of aim assist they get is just fucking ridiculous. Um, they are becoming more and more popular. And some people even brag, like, about the fact uh, that they're using controllers. Like, oh my god, it's like built in aimboat. Or, you know, they'll say it's like, I'm not good enough to aim with a mouse and keyboard, so I use a controller. And then there's the people who deny that they use a controller, even though they're obviously using a controller. And I, a surefire way to, to, you know, verify that is uh, how often they use sniper rifles. Because sniper rifles, they don't get aim assist with controllers. It's the same thing on console, same thing on PC. 
And uh, I, I, I've challenged the controller user to use the best gun in the game on PC, which is the P06. They don't use it. <laughs> so it's. <laughs> I mean, shit, I wish people would challenge me to use the P06. My gosh, I'll do that all day, every day. It's the <laughs> uh, best gun in the game by far. But uh, controllers, there's a lot of them. It really. I wouldn't say, you know, it, it plays the game for you because, you know. Just because you plug in a controller does not is not going to guarantee that you know you're about to drop 70 and five gameplays or whatever. It's just you know certain situations, you know the aim assist is just so strong and you know if they hit left trigger, right trigger, you're dead and there's nothing you can do about it unless you know you kill them first. And it's just it's stupid. And uh, well, uh, I guess I rambled on a lot longer than I thought I would, but uh, yeah, there you go, 78 and 8, melee only, fantastic, got the nuclear, it's fun, but uh, use wisely, because teammates are probably going to disappoint you. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, that was an episode of From the Desk of Exhale. I've been meaning to do this for, I don't know, like two months now, and I'm just now finally getting to it, so I hope it was worth the wait, hope you enjoyed it, kicked a lot of ass. I'm peacing out, so uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, peace!